Hey guys, Nano MC here, and welcome to a Scoutcraft episode, what are we on, 2 or something like that? Yeah, so we're on episode 2. So today's episode we're going to be just finishing off an enchanting room, we're going to get um, we're going to get a, a good pit going, we're going to get a good pit going, and that is the plan. So I hope you guys stick around, don't forget to you know, like and subscribe, and uh, peace. Okay, so, oh, okay, let's try and do this in third person. Oh, uh, uh, uh. Okay, okay, there we are. So. In between episodes, I can't even zoom, I haven't even got Optifind. I'm going to download Optifind at some point, I promise you that. But, in between episodes, I thought, hmm, I need to get work on enchanting stuff, because you know... I need to get work on enchanting stuff, because you know I haven't got an enchanting room, or anything like that. So I thought, you know what, why not? So I built a little makeshift enchanting room. Now normally what I do, was I saw this design for an enchanting room, and normally what I do when I see designs for building, I'm like, hmm, I like this, 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 and this on it, but I don't like this and this. So normally what I then do is, you know, take the bits I like from the design and then leave the rest of it, okay? And then build a building. But I like this design so much, I just nicked the entirety of the design. Now, if I... I can't quite remember where I found this, but if I find it, I'll link the website in the description. And then give full recognition to, you know, whoever posted it. Something to do did happen was, you know, down here, there's the uh, spider spawner, yeah. Um, well, something happened. So I went down there, you know, to light it up and, you know, make sure that nothing was, you know, damaged or destroyed. But whilst I came down here, I went to go light it up and, um, and, a, and a, a creeper blew it up. Yeah. What effects are they? Wait, what? Whoa, okay. Yeah, my creeper blew up, so now we don't have one. But, I was speaking to Mads and apparently he has a spider spawner, so hopefully we can try and get something going in the future to try and make a uh, spider farm. And then we can get loads of string, which then means we can make wool, which then means we can make beds, which then means we can go to the nether and try and find that sweet, sweet, sweet ancient debris. But, one of the issues I have is with this, so I built all of this, this took me couple of hours to build. I think I might add some lanterns here. Maybe even some soul lanterns, because you know, new soul lanterns are beautiful. But here's the issue. I only have six bookshelves, and I need more. Now, something that is holding me back is this stuff here. This is leather. Now, the issue is I don't have any leather. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off to the shopping district with my two diamonds here, and I'm going to go buy some rotten flesh, because you can smelt rotten flesh to get leather. And that's exactly what I need. So I'm going to take one of my boats and head off to the shopping district. So the plan for this episode is to get the rest of my enchanting room done. I'm pretty sure I just had a puff of fish down there. Get the rest of my enchanting room done and try and get a good enchantment on a pick. I also... Hang on, I just need to actually see where I'm going. There it is. I also think I'll go to the loop shop and buy mending because I really want to get mending on a good diamond pick that is and that means that I can actually spend those sweet 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 diamonds oh hello uh, it's over here somewhere isn't it so if I hop out of here now I know there's two shops that sell rotten flesh now I don't know which shop is cheaper because there's Duke shop and there's insert other person's shop I don't know who owns the other shop it's not that one I don't know who owns this shop here Let's do shop. Let's go, let's go check the prices of this one first. Oh no, they sell string. Uh, okay, so here's my good memory. Uh, wrong flesh. How much? Two stacks of diamonds. Yep, I will do that. Wait, was it two stacks per diamond? Yeah. Okay, there we are. Ah, you never know when you need any more leather. There we are. I'll grab that. And uh, off we go. And back we go. Something else that I need to make, which I'll probably end up making this episode, is a small super smelter. I think I have enough iron to probably do it, but I'm not too... Uh, which, which direction is this? This way, isn't it? Yes? Yeah, it's this way. Uh, it's actually off in this direction. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? I want to make a small super smelter, which then means that I can start to smelt a lot of stuff very quickly. Then, when I start getting some other stuff down, like I can start smelting things, I don't want to try and find a village. I know there's a village in the desert over there somewhere, I don't know if there is actually any villagers left in that desert or not, or if everyone's taken the villagers from it. If not, I may have to go and inquire about buying some villagers off of one of the other scouts. Yeah. 
and something else as well. Like, I really need to get a new mic. Like, this mic is just... It's a good mic for anything apart from recording. Speaking to people, good mic. Playing games, good mic. Trying to record, no, 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 no. So I think I'm probably going to have to invest in a desktop mic. And that should hopefully fix up all of my issues that I have with uh, audio. Like looking at it from here, this this bird looks oddly out of place with this. So I think I think I have to add some leaves and stuff like that around it. Maybe modify it slightly because the style's correct. There's just something about it. I don't know what it is. There's just something about it that I'm not sure lines up with the rest of it. I might replace those blocks there with these strip birch logs because that kind of like goes with the theme I have for medieval. I don't know, I'm going to have to experiment, because I can't replace these front blocks, because that looks silly, god. have to be these blocks here being replaced with it, I think that should help me out. There's something about it which needs changing, I can't, I can't put my finger on what it is. I think it's the amount of stone up here. Oh, I don't know, I'll figure out someone else. Sweet fairies are. Utterly trash as a food source. So I'm going to let these smelt, and I am going to be back in a while. I also want to change the colour of my bed. Can I... So if I actually don't know how to do this. Can I just grey... Can I just do this? Is this how you change the cut? Ah, okay, it is. That was a very fun adventure, wasn't it? There we are. Okay. So the next thing I do need to make... I'm going to move that out of the way because that's going to hurt me. Next thing I do need is I need sugarcane to make paper, which is not used to make books. Three bits of sugarcane make three bits of paper, I think. And then you need three bits of paper and leather to make a single book. You then need um, three books and six of those planky boys to make a bookshelf. And I need a lot of them to be able to be fully happy with my current life decisions of making an enchanting room. Also I have a fair amount of lapis which is useful. Look at the fishies. And I will be back when I have made a decent amount of bookie shelfy wealthies. And whilst I just harvest wood for these uh, bookshelves, something else I seriously need to get on is, as I said, I need to get villagers in. And I then want to, first of all, make a villager breeder, so I have basically an unlimited source of villagers. Then the next thing after that would probably be making a automatic villager farm for either potatoes or carrots. And that should then be able to be fed to a smoker, which will then automatically cook all of our fuel, food, Potatoes or carrot, well, mostly potatoes to jacket potatoes, and that should be the food source completely and utterly sorted. I then want to make an iron farm because I love iron farms, and then that'll be our iron problem sorted. It's just rude when they get stuck at the top. That should be our iron problem sorted, and then I, I don't know what happens after that. I can start probably working on a uh, automatic sourcing system for a storage room. So the one with all the hoppers and then you have hopper lockers and then then they only allow certain things in. And, and probably a sugarcane farm as well. Because I don't know how people can live without sugarcane farms. And then I also need an automatic bamboo farm which can then feed into my super smelter if you ever watched my single player not single player, my uh, let's play series. I had that. It was a Basically, it was a same design as an automatic sugarcane farm, but instead of being sugarcane, it was bamboo. And instead of feeding into a chest, it just went to feed into a chest, but it fed straight into a super smelter, which was quite nice actually. And worked way too efficiently, and it turns out that I needed an off button for it, so that is something I'll have to develop in the future. And now I have to sit and wait for these to grow, so I can then harvest these to get you some paper. No, I can then harvest these to get sugarcane, which can be used to make paper, which can then be covered with leather, which can make books, which then can be used to, to make bookshelves, which then means I can upgrade and get level 30 charms for all of my stuff, and then I'll be really happy, and you know, I'll be really, really good, you know, yeah, bye. And whilst we're here, we might as well breed the... the sheep. That's... Come on, breed. 
do the old switcheroo, the old one-two, the old makey more, the multiplier. That's it. So we're getting. Okay, so how many more? I think it's. I think you need a minimum of 15 bookshelves. I think you don't have to. Don't quote me on that, but I think it's a minimum of 15. So if I fill these corners up in here, that gives me what? Six, 12, 18. Oh, so I only need three more in here, and then I have the maximum amount I need. Okay, so after dancing around in the circle for ages. Okay, so 21 bits of paper, which in theory can make seven books, nine books. Okay, so then we go to the bookshelves here, which then can make three bookshelves. So in theory, if I actually remember how to play Minecraft, which I don't, in theory, if I just go bonk, 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 and go into here and then grab my pick and go here, I should have level, okay, how many bookshelves was it? to be level 30. Hang on, I'm just going to google it. Yeah. This is 15 around it and there is there's 18 around here. Why why do you know why do you know max level enchanto? Why do you ho hate me? Oh, I don't know why this isn't working. Maybe I have to put it down by one. Wait, I can I can pick this up with this can't I? Yeah. Try and put this down by one. Okay. There we are. It was just one block too high, so I only thought I think I was only picking up these ones here. So that's that done, and I need to pretty up this area, make it look more decrepit. Actually, how do you how do you craft soul lanterns? Because those are just like lanterns, but with extra steps. Apparently, Vroop has a present for me. I just came here to get an ender chest to try and find some soul sand. <gasps> he has a present for me. So let's just go into here. I think I have some soul. I have one bit of soul sand. <laughs> Brilliant. I just gotta sit here and wait for Vloop. <gasps> What's he got for me? What's he got for me? What's he got for me? What's he got? <gasps> it's a <gasps> my fair. <laughs> my fair. <laughs> Very <laughs> end of chest. <laughs> nah, man, I'm still poor. That man, I'm still bored. <laughs> yeah, I was literally about to go to his store once I got this, and I was going to buy mending silk touch. Uh, you can place this there in a special place in your base until you have silk touch. <laughs> I will cherish this. <laughs> I will cherish this. <laughs> oh, it's. <laughs> okay, so the brilliant Vloop has given me a whole ender chest to myself. Oh, just, just look at it. It's... I, I, I don't have to struggle. It means now, when I go shopping, I can just grab my diamonds. And just... Oh. Okay. So as we roll up to the shopping district... Just, just park up. You can see the town hall there in the distance. I didn't really address this when I got here. I don't know if I did or not. But yeah, Vloop and Jumble spent, I don't know, a few hours, I think. I was on here when they were building this and then I had to go, but it just looks so nice, especially the brick here as well. It's just, oh, saucy. The reason I'm here is because I want to go to Vloop's bookshop, which is this nice. Just Vloop in their building. But I want to go into Vloop's bookshop. Let's have a look. Yep, yeah, Vloop's bookshop. Now, what I want to do is I need to buy Silk Touch. Ah, yep, Silk Touch is one diamond, so let's just grab this so we can go shopping. Silk Touch is one diamond, so bang, like that. And I also want to grab, whilst I'm here, Mending. I think Mending is upstairs. So I want to get a nice, yep, five diamonds for Mending. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I was going to spread them out, but then I don't want it to look like someone's been paying one diamonds for his stuff. 
And efficiency 4 is 2, but I can get that through a level 30 enchantment. Yeah, that's the two books I wanted to get here and come and get here and come and get here. Yes, good English. Yep, throw them back in there. And I am going to head back out and head home. And for reference, I, I recorded the uh, whole bookshop thing for legal reasons. Don't really know what I'll do from here. I need a nether portal room, which I'll probably build up here. So a path coming up here. I'll probably end up moving this and building the building here. And then that's basically all the default buildings I need. I then kind of want to build a barn somewhere as well, which will start housing some of my mini, mini farms. So like a super smelter and a bamboo farm. No, sorry, a sugarcane farm. I need to make a bamboo farm as well. And there's something I haven't shown you, which is actually off in this direction. Because I own... that that All this land around me is mine. As far, everywhere the light touches is our kingdom. Apart from that, that ain't ours. Um, this area here is quite nice to build in. I didn't say, hey Siri. Siri, go away. Some people have the nerve. Yeah, yeah let's go with that. Anyway, so let's just hop up here and I can show you. So up on top of here is the blueprint for quite a... It's not the largest of mansions, but the plan is to have this as an entrance hall, which again goes back into this mountain here. Now the only issue I have is height restrictions, because as you can see this mountain here isn't the tallest at all. So I might need to rethink my strategy. Lamau. So either I, either I build here, or I build somewhere else. I haven't really decided yet, so I'm just gonna stand up here because I actually have no idea what I need to do. I need to get the enchanting room done. I want to try and get a en pickaxe enchanted. I then want to add mending to it and silk touch to so that, which is gonna cost even more enchantments. I can do that, right? I think I could do that. Is that, is that a donkey? Donkey? Is, is that a? Is that a? Is that a? Is that? A... Oh no! I didn't want to milk you. I'm so sorry about that, mate. I I don't normally do that. I I normally take you out for dinner first, but sorry. Is that is that a donkey over there? Ah, let's have a look. And it actually is a donkey. Who would have thought it? I've never actually seen a donkey in Minecraft. Look at them. I'm pretty sure you can't ride them, can you? But you can put chests in them and stuff. Isn't that amazing, Mr. Sheep? Look at them. Look at them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Two for four. Efficiency four. Great. Efficiency. Yay. Efficiency. Normally, you want... Like, oh, yeah, I'll get a few more. It's probably not even worth it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. Okay. There's probably a better way of doing this, but I haven't discovered it. So, we're just going to create another one. Okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Honestly, it's fine. Look. So, we're going to come over it. We're going to grab this. We're going to go boop. Boop, boop, boop. Efficiency four. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. That is just what I wanted. Okay. Efficient. What's that? Efficiency four on breaking three and fortune two. What more could you want from that? So now I'm going to go over to my thing here. I need to grab a load of iron and grab these two. I think I can add these two to it. I'm not too sure because I'm a massive Minecraft noob. Uh, it's three blocks for it, isn't it? Something like that. How do I make an anvil? Yeah, three blocks of iron. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Honestly, it's fine. Look, look, look. It's fine. Look, I can just go boop. And I can just go bang. No, I can go back. Actually, I kind of want mending on it just in case I can't for whatever reason. This. Okay, it's going to cost two levels, and then we're going to grab our super duper pick. So. I assume you can't have both of them on there? Can someone please just tell me in the comments why why this would do this to me? Uh, I'm assuming I have to put it on another pick, won't I? So I can grab my efficiency 4 pick. And we can put it on here. There's probably someone sitting there absolutely cringing what I'm doing. But I did it anyway. So you just gotta, you just gotta deal with it, really. So anyway, uh, it's night time, so I'm just gonna do this inside. So right, anyway, that's enough time 
that is all the time we had for today. So don't forget to you know a like and subscribe. I hope you did actually enjoy this video. It was a bit longer than the other ones, but I think I got stuff accomplished. So anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. A boy.